Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of a video about the fantasy necklace. Um, I am doing it from home, so if you hear any noise, I do have a little dog, so that will be her. Right, so let's get started. A lot of you come into the shop and know that I wear a fantasy necklace. Now, I wear one of the shorter lengths. I wear 70 centimetres, which is 104 pounds, so that when I put it on, it sits, if you can see that, it sits just to there. And then what I do is I stack troll beads onto it that way. However, where I think the confusion with the fancy necklace comes from is when you have the longer length, so we're talking the 100 centimetres and the 90 centimetres, which are 121 pounds, 126 pounds. Um, people don't really understand what they're supposed to do or how the beads sit. I get a lot of people coming in saying the necklace goes all wonky through the day. So I'm just going to talk through a few things for you. Now I'm going to be using my short necklace to demonstrate this purely because it's a lot easier to do it with a short necklace for the sake of the film um, otherwise I'll be here messing around with it. Right, so basically you get what's called splitter beads. Now the first one I'm going to show you is a fantasy butterfly. See that? It's £45 and basically you've got a hole at the bottom of the bead one at each side and then one at the top. So you can in fact wear it on the short fancy necklace, I'm just going to show you that now. You can in fact just wear it. It's gone a bit twisted, sorry about that. Yeah, you can just wear it like that on the fancy necklace. However, the whole point of this bead is so that you can split the necklace. Um, now, basically, I'm going to try and show you on the camera, it's going to be a little bit difficult, um, so any problems you can always come into the shop, but this is the general gist. I'm just move you a bit closer. Basically, you get the bottom of the bead, put the chain through the bottom and out one of the side holes. See that? So it's coming, I'll just drop the bead, so it's going through the side. Can you see that? And then basically you want to do the same, pull some chain back through so you've got it going through one bit but you've got extra chain on this side of the pearl then you put this back through the centre hole again and then out the other side so basically rather than going straight at the middle of the butterfly it comes out either side and then you should end up with something that looks like that and basically with the longer chains because obviously the longer chains are very very long um, it basically turns it into sort of what you deem as your standard sort of necklace so then you could wear it like that so that's sort of a simple overview of how to get the necklace like that um, next I shall show you sort of how to make it up when you have got a splitter bead on there, um, the very simple way of doing it is just to add beads. I've got some nice midnight flower beads here. Just add them onto either end of the chain. What I'll do is I'll point the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Just added one onto that side. And I'll get another one. Add the other one onto the other side. Basically, it starts. Oh, butterfly's given up on life. It starts to look like that. And then, when you wear it, oh, it will sit like that. Now, another nice thing to do is I mean, you can just carry on building up the sides, or if you pull a little bit of the pearl down, can you see that? Oh, is to add beads in here. Now, if you give me two moments, I'll just do that. Oh, just another comment as well. I get a few people asking, you know, how do they look after their troll beads and how do they care for them? Now, I get a lot of ladies in that will wear their troll beads whilst doing the washing up. This is something that we really don't advise. Number one, your husband should be doing it for you. And number two, the troll is actually set with a resin and chemicals can basically disintegrate that resin and that's what makes the glass beads loose. So basically the best thing to do is just not to get the glass beads wet 
Um, also, it tarnishes the silver. We get a lot of beads that come in that look quite grubby. It's because they've been wet, basically. Um, so do try to avoid any chemicals on them. Just use a soft cloth to polish the beads, if anything. Um, or you can always bring them into me in the shop and I'll clean them up for you. Um, just don't use any harsh chemicals because bleaches are just no good for the beads. Right. See that? Ooh. There you go. And that's how you can build it up. So you could have three at the bottom and then three on either side. Um, you can mix the silver and the glass. There's loads and loads of ways of doing it. But that is how you work a splitter bead. Right. The butterfly is by far my favourite. £45, I think, is a really good deal. The other thing is you can actually just wear it on your bracelet. You know, so it's got a hole at the top and bottom, but it's also got holes in the sides. You can always just wear it. Okay, grab a bracelet. No good. Just wear it sideways on the bracelet. It looks very, very sweet like that. Right, and I've got another one here to show you, which is another one of my favourites. The baby dragon. At the top is his little eyes and his little face poking over. And basically, he just wraps all the way around. You can see his arms and his legs. He's very, very sweet. Now, little dragon, he's £59. And he just works in the same way. You've got loads of holes all over him. I like him always sitting upwards. So you just pop your chain through one side of him like that. Get some slack. If you can see... Oh chain comes out the other side. Sorry, it's really hard to show you this. All fingers and thumbs, unfortunately. Right. There we go. Oh, he's back to front. And there's the little dragon just sat on top of the pearl. He's very, very sweet. They do loads of different splitter bees. There's a nice rose, a climbing hydrangea, which is beautiful. There's lots and lots of different ones. There's certain ones that don't work particularly well as splitter bees, like the troll tree. He's better if you're just wearing a necklace long like I do, and then he sits there. You can split him, but you can't put a bead in him, and he, he just doesn't look quite right. Um, so, yeah, that's how uh, you use the splitter bees. Any questions, as always, you can um, email me at the shop or always ring me. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions you've got. Have a nice day, guys.